Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the number 11 Dayton Flyers taking on the Illinois State Redbirds in Big Ten action. Flyers coming off their first loss of the season. They lost to the Western Illinois Leathernecks in a very tough defeat. They lost Dorian Word during that game, their starting quarterback. And yeah, it, it was just rough. It was not a good showing by the Flyers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the score. 41 to 38. And they really struggled to get really anything going on offense for quite some time with Wurr going out. Had to pretty much, you know, refine their entire offense with Jared Martin in there. Just a completely different style of quarterback. And the defense for the Flyers, I mean, they were non-existent. Over 400 passing yards for Harris from the Leathernecks. Five touchdowns. He was torching the secondary the entire game. Let me get this shared in the Discord. And we are shared. We are good to go, folks. Hope you guys are ready for this one. Should be a good game. Uh, Illinois State, 6-2 and two on the season. This is a nationally televised broadcast from Normal, Illinois. And here is the matchup. They have the top 30 defense. Flyers have the number 11 defense in the country, number 4 offense, but again, they're without their star quarterback, Dorian Wura. So it's going to be an uphill battle for the Flyers here today, coming off of their first loss of the season. Let's get it. And hopefully there's, uh, there's no audio issues like the last stream. All right, who do we got? Ron Kemp is in the chat. What's going on, Ron? How you doing, buddy? And we are going to go with just the regular ways. Let's do that. Front and gun offense. Let's get it. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's up, Tyler? How you doing, buddy? Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in this series. Been looking forward to this game ever since the Flyers lost last week. Very disappointed in myself for losing that game. But it does happen. All right, let's get it. We are going to be on defense first. Hopefully the defense can redeem themselves after the poor performance against the Leathernecks last week. Nice tackle on Hubbard. Let's take a look at the defense for the Dayton Flyers. Cash Harris at defensive end. Tate Taylor at defensive tackle. Linebacking core of Dirt Davis, D.B. Slocum, and Rob Orlandi. Joey Garrett is the number two middle linebacker. Go over the secondary in a moment. Oh, a huge hit from D.B. Slocum. Let's go. Secondary includes Gloves Malone and John Fowler. Those are the starting corners. Logan Bohorek is the nickel corner. Jermaine Price comes in on dime formations. And Ballhawk is the free safety. And pretty good run there. Gloves Malone on the tackle. I know it's been about a week since the last stream, but you know, had some things happen. We had a huge storm around my house. My entire town was just getting obliterated by thunder and lightning. So it was it was a rough week for streaming. But we are here. We are back. Redbirds already in flyer territory. Deep shot. And oh my goodness, another huge hit on a Redbird receiver. My goodness. And that was the strong safety, I believe. I think his name is Foster. Non-subscriber player. Let's 
Be behind on the schedule for the FCS videos. It's all good, Tyler. No worries, buddy. And a nice tackle. That's D.B. Slocum, the sophomore outside linebacker. His second tackle of the ball game. Third down and nine upcoming for Illinois State. Looking to get their seventh win on the season. They're already bowl eligible, as are the Flyers. And quarterback's going to take off. Rob Orlandi gets the big-time tackle and the big stop at the 36. They're going to go for it. See if the defense can hold strong. Fourth down and three. Play action. And it's caught by Alexander. They got the first down inside the red zone. Great route by number 57. That is a bit unfortunate. Definitely not how we wanted this game to start off for the defense. Coming off a poor performance against Western Illinois. Pass is off the mark, and it'll bring up second down and ten. Two tight ends set for the Redbirds, and Sims will pick up maybe a yard on the carry. And they actually don't give him credit for any yards. Feels bad. Third down and ten. Pass is caught by Jamison. They're going to be short of the sticks. And this time they will kick a field goal. So a good stop now for the Flyers. After allowing a big time fourth down conversion. 25 yard field goal attempt is up and it is good. Redbirds on top. 3-0 over the 11th ranked Dayton Flyers. See what the offense can do with Jared Martin at quarterback. Martin Manuel, junior receiver, on for the return. And gets it up to the 23 yard line. Let's take a look at the offense. Usually led by Dorian Wura, but Jared Martin will get the start here today. Noah Johns, number 12, he is the backup to Jared Martin today. Backfield includes Sonny Six, Smash Jackson, and Jared Brody. The receiving core, Amari Manuel, Ron Kemp, and Matt Wheaton. And at tight end, Trent Green and James Skaggs. First play on offense is Jared Brody. A nice carry. Gets 10 yards to start off the game. Up to the fullback. Third, second down and one. Get the first down with McLean. Just an easy little pickup. Number four ranked offense in the country. Over 500 yards per game. Let's see what Martin can do here. Pass across the middle, and Ron Kemp is going to drop it. It's actually a really good throw. Going across his body to throw to the other side of the field. He's right on the money. Second down and 10. And that's going to be a sack. Instant pressure off the left edge. That was McKeon. Also, seven for Dayton. And it's third and 17. Try to hit the post route to row. Over the top, and Rowe has it. First down at the 48-yard line. Nice throw from Jared Martin, the junior quarterback, number 99. Beautiful throw. Beautiful throw. 
Sunny Six in at halfback now. Beard Martin taking a deep shot to Ron Kemp. He's got it, and Kemp is gone. Touchdown, Dayton Flyers. The freshman explodes for a 52-yard touchdown reception. Play action froze the safety enough, and there was no help for the corner. Really good way for the offense to start off the game. And it's 7 to 3. Six plays, 76 yard drive, minute 21 off the clock. And some really good throws from Jared Martin on that drive. I feel bad for anybody that has to cover Ron Kemp one on one. Just good luck. He's too fast. Play action over the middle. Oh, Ballhawk should have had it. Bounces right off of his hands. Second down and 10. Pass to the halfback. That's Sims. He'll pick up three or four yards. Get out of bounds. Let's go man coverage here. Third and seven from the 26. They're going to go quarterback draw, and they get stuffed. Dirt Davis on the stop. There was also holding on the play. That's going to bring a fourth and four. Flyers with all the momentum right now. Got a huge touchdown pass to the freshman receiver. Now they get a nice quick three and out. And they are good to go. Let's get it. Gloves Malone on for the return from his own 24-yard line. And he'll get it up to the 27. Five touchdown returns on the season for the junior corner. He is a beast. Sunny Six gets the carry to the outside. Look out. Sunny Six could go all the way, and Sunny Six will go all the way. Touchdown, Dayton. Oh, my goodness. One juke move. And he's gone. Did I say post Malone? I, I don't think I did, Tyler. <laughs> I really don't think I did. What a beautiful run from the sophomore halfback. He was on the Heisman watch list last season for a handful of weeks. And with good reason, he is a beast. 14 to 3 now. Flyers on top. Hubbard out of his end zone, or around his end zone. Let's see what the Redbirds can do. I formation set. At back pass, and Rob Orlandi with the interception. He leads the country in ints. He'll return it up to the 20. I believe that is his ninth on the season. He also leads all FCS players for career interceptions. At the middle linebacker spot, he is just such a beast. 
It does help when a, a running back is throwing the football. Flyers looking good today. See what we could do from the 20 yard line. We're already in the red zone. You'd love to see it. And, oh, nice deflection. Flyers are playing mad, yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. That was awful. Zero blocking on that play. Martin just got slobbered. I mean, what's he supposed to do on that play, really? <laughs> Left tackle got beat so badly. All right, let's try to hit a seam route. Third and 19 from the 29. Little Mike in the chat. What's up, Mike? Oh, my goodness. Another sack. He couldn't get rid of the ball. Flyers now in a bad spot. All the way back at the 35. This is going to be a 52-yard field goal attempt. He started the drive at the 20. Got the power on it. And, oh, just missed it. Man. Let's take a look at the replay and see how, how close that was to being made. Oh, man. He would have missed it a little bit to the right anyways, even if he had the power. That's unfortunate. Good try, though. Good try. Can't fault a college kicker for missing a 52-yard attempt. Quarterback. Oh, nice juke move to get past two defenders, and he will get the first down. Final play of the first quarter. If they get it off, they do. Nice catch by Cobbs. Picks up eight yards. It's going to end the first quarter. Flyers on top 14-3 to over the 6-2 Illinois State Redbirds here in Normal, Illinois. Get him. Nice run. First down for Sims. Redbirds have five first downs. Flyers with only four. Play action. And it's almost picked off. That was DB Slocum. Nearly had it. And now Tank Taylor is in the zone at defensive tackle. See if he can make an impact. Sims with another decent run. Dirt Davis on the tackle. Makes a third down and two for the Redbirds. Get him. Oh, there's Tank Taylor with a stop. And that'll bring up fourth down. A loss of one on the play. And they're obviously going to go for it here. Not really in field goal range. You don't want to punt it from your opponent's 34-yard line. They are number one in the country on fourth down attempts. 100% on the season. And Gloves Malone deflects it away. First stop on fourth down against the Redbirds this entire season. 
took nine games. Sunny Six gets a carry again. Oh my goodness, he might be gone again. Sunny Six down the left sideline, and he will score again. Two carries, a juke, and a spin, and two touchdowns. Oh, the safety. Ankles just shattered on the play. He's got 139 yards rushing on two carries. Ridiculous stats. Extra point up good as 21 to 3. And a huge hit from Joey Garrett, the freshman middle linebacker, on the kickoff. Drive will start off at the 17-yard line. And the pass is deflected away, double coverage. They tried to test Rob Orlandi. It's a bad decision. And Orlandi with a big hit on Sims. Oh my goodness. Get wrecked. Third down and nine for the Redbirds. They're 0 for 4 on third downs. Tank Taylor in the zone at D-tackle. Quick pass, and Roberts gets the first down. First conversion of the ball game. Play action. Deep shot, and Gloves Malone is going to deflect it away. Thought that was going to be an interception. I didn't even see the receiver over there. Brings up second down and two. Three receivers to the right side for Wallace. And he's got a man wide open. That's Wesley. And gets it up past the 40. Jared Martin went over 4,000 passing yards with his touchdown to Ron Kemp earlier. was the starter in season number one of this dynasty. Quarterback draw. Wallace picks up maybe two yards. And Cash Harris on the stop. This is a good run for Sims all the way into the secondary inside the 40-yard line of the Flyers. Sims up to 63 yards for the game. JP Parker in the chat. What's up, JP? Checking in from school. I like it. Hope you're doing well, my friend. The pass deflected away. Gloves Malone, another deflection in this first half. I believe that's his third. Play action. And Rob Orlandi with another pick returns it up to the 35 yard line. He's got 10 INTs this season, number one in the country. He led the country in interceptions in his freshman season as well. D 
Deep shot. Amari Manuel. Double coverage, though. And it's still caught. Emmanuel. Amari Manuel is gone. Oh, my goodness. 65-yard bomb. What a throw. Look at the spiral. Perfect. The defender left his feet. You never want to do that. My goodness. Jared Martin just throwing dimes out here. to three here in the second quarter. Oh, another big hit. Special teams came to play today on kickoff. Single back set for the Redbirds. They're going to toss it out. Halfback pass again this time. Back to the quarterback. That's a fumble, and it goes out of bounds. That'll be a loss of nine on the play. Quarterback's going to take off or Landy on the stop at the 19. There's a pickup of seven, brings up third and 12. Two and a half minutes to go in the half. Redbirds desperately need something to happen their way on offense. One of five on third downs. Tank Taylor is in the zone on the defensive line. Deep shot, double coverage, and it's almost caught off the deflection. Flyers get another stop on defense. Malone from the 40. Gets it up to the 46. Two oh five left in the half. Flyers up by twenty five points, and this five free yards. Redbirds falling apart at the seams right now. Open is Trent Green, the tight end, and he gets hit by Ron Kemp. He should have had a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. The freshman gets in the junior tight end's way, stopping him from scoring. That's a feels-bad moment. First and goal from the nine-yard line. Still a big-time play. But come on. Come on, Ron. What, what are you doing, buddy? First and goal from the nine. Martin on the option, pitches it out. That's Smash Jackson. And the junior halfback punches it in from nine yards out. Flyers on top, 35 to three now. 142 left in the half. Can the defense get another three and out? And can we see another big hit from the kickoff team? Nope. Redbirds dominating the time of possession, but just doesn't show it on the scoreboard. Good 
Pass left side. Wesley has it, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete. Tank Taylor in the zone again at D-tackle. And a quick pass. Roberts has it, and he actually caught that. Pickup of two for Illinois State. They're now one of six on third downs in the game. Deep shot over the middle. And it's picked off by Fowler. John Fowler, the freshman corner, picks it off. And he injures his shoulder on the play. Hopefully he's all right. Uh, Logan Bohorek and Jermaine Price going to fill in for him at that cornerback spot now. Great play by the freshman corner. Oh my goodness, bouncing around like a pinball back here. And is holding. That entire play was just terrible. All right, first down and 20. Just over a minute left in the half. Throw it up, and that's caught by Matt Wheaton at the 40-yard line. Good catch by the freshman. Fowler just out for the game with a strained shoulder, so nothing too serious. Quick pass over the middle. Amari Manuel, first down, Flyers. 49 seconds left. Martin, eight touchdowns to just one interception on the season. Pass left side on the corner route. Rowe has it. Try to get one more play before we start calling timeouts. Tom Kemp wide open. The freshman has another one. 26-yard touchdown pass from Jared Martin to the freshman receiver, Ron Kemp. Beautiful route. With Billions in the chat. What's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Flyers definitely came out playing angry here today after suffering their first defeat of the season last week against Western Illinois. And unfortunately for Illinois State, you know, they were they were in the path of the Flyers. Logan Bohorek makes a nice play. Gets the tackle at the 15-yard line. And they're just going to run the ball here. Just content with running the clock out. Pick up a four yards. Not even snap it. So the Flyers on top, 42 to three, at the half over the Illinois State Redbirds. Our next game is going to be Idaho State traveling to Greeley, Colorado, to take on the 21st ranked Northern Colorado Bears. That one's going to be happening directly after this stream, guys. So stick around for that one. Amari Manuel from the five-yard line spins a man out and jukes up to the 30. 
Big difference in yards. 390 for Dayton. Just 163 for the Redbirds. And three takeaways for the Flyer defense, too. That's, that's pretty big. Smash Jackson gets the carry. Jukes to the outside. And that's a face mask. Personal foul. Alright, already in Redbird territory. And another sack on Martin. Fourth of the ball game. He did not stand a chance, my goodness. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's try that again, second down and 16 from the 46. Ron Kemp is wide open and gets the first down. Can't quite spin out the safety. It was up to three catches, 95 yards and two touchdowns for the game. Ron Kemp leads the team in um, touchdowns, I believe, with nine. Throw it up top. James Skaggs, the number two tight end, and he comes down with it. Touchdown, Dayton. Let's go. Skaggs, not really known for getting a lot of touches, but he makes the most of this one. 37-yard touchdown catch. that I think we're going to take out Jared Martin and put in the number three quarterback Noah Johns and get him some playing time I'm going to go ahead and do that now before I forget Martin up to a 95 overall currently It is 49 to 3. Flyers cruising right now. Definitely a great way to rebound after that loss to Western Illinois. Close game down the wire, and this one just complete demolition of Illinois State. Sims, nice cut to the outside, picks up 19 yards. And that gets him to 76 on the day. Stretch play, and Cash Harris shuts that down very quickly. No gain. Pass is almost intercepted by Cash Harris off of the deflection. That would have been an amazing play. That brings up third and ten. They are one for seven on third downs in the game. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's up, Marvin? And that was a great play. BB Slocum on the slot receiver. Big mismatch. Slocum is a great linebacker. Does not have enough speed to keep up with a slot receiver, though. Just not going to happen. Second, third down conversion of the game for Illinois State. And 
And wide open is Cobbs inside the 10 yard line. First and goal upcoming. And Radiate, that's the second catch in a row. It's a great post corner route. Streams all day. I don't know about all day. I'm definitely going to be doing uh, Northern Colorado right after this one, though, for sure. And Sims tries to cut it back to the right. Foster brings him down. No gain on the play. Second and goal. I'm going to try to set up a screen pass here. That goes nowhere. And that was, I believe, Shannon Ward on the big hit. This is game number two of the week. Are we, are we in uh, week 11? Only played one game last week. Had some uh, power outages, some, ter some terrible, terrible weather all week, and just personal things happening in my life, so it was just an unfortunate week for streaming. Flyers defense holds, holds him to a field goal attempt, 29-yard attempt here. He is 12-18 in his career. This is right down the middle. The Flyers get another stop, holding him to a field goal. It's 49-6 in the third quarter. Going to take a look at Noah Johns at quarterback, number 12. See what the young man can do. See him once or twice in this series. If I'm not mistaken, he is a lefty. And he is, in fact, a lefty. His first pass is caught by Rowe. Just a quick strike for a gain of three. Yards, second down and seven. Smash Jackson gets to the outside. Oh my goodness, what a move. All the way to the 49 yard line. I believe we have 10 games this week all together. This is game number two. Northern Colorado will be next. Game three. I'm not sure who plays after that. Might get to a third game today. Maybe. We'll definitely be having one um, when I get home from work tonight as well. And Ron Kemp's going to lose about seven or eight yards on a reverse. That was a little rough. Didn't really get set up properly. Deep shot to Ron Kemp, and it's dropped by the freshman. That was a that was a really good throw. Oh my goodness, he wound up for that one. Alright, let's see what the young quarterback can do on third and 16. Wide open is Rowe over the middle, and he runs a couple guys over and gets the first down. 15 first downs in the game for Dayton. you guys are enjoying the game. I know it's a, a blowout right now, but you know, it's been some really nice plays. Up top to Manuel, and somehow Noah Johns fits that pass in there for the touchdown. Oh my goodness. How, Sway? How? What a throw. And Manuel is in for his, I believe, second touchdown catch of the ball game. 
And the Flyers have the 50 burger. Having a good week so far. Happy September. Gotta love it. Get him. Get him. All right. Flyers over 500 yards of offense. Illinois State over 200. They've definitely had some pretty decent drives. The running game's been working a little bit. Just need some uh, some more consistency like that as Cobbs gets wide open and Ballhawk saves the touchdown at the 41 yard line. And number 88 having himself a pretty good second half. Redbirds definitely showing some flashes of being really good. And then they make plays like that. Rob Orlandi with his third pick of the ball game. He's got the hat trick. Can he get to the end zone? Oh, he gets pushed out of bounds, but a huge return. Oh, my goodness. He's got 11 INTs this season. My goodness gracious. Great effort by the halfback, Sims to stop the touchdown. It's a beautiful thing. I don't know what I want to run here. The Pickmaster, yes sir. He leads all subscriber players in career interceptions by far. He wants it. Throw it up top. James Skaggs back in the end zone. Oh, he comes down with it, but he's out of bounds. My goodness. That's film study right there. Yes, sir. Orlandi reminds me of a, a smaller Luke Keekley. Here's Jared Brody on the carry. Jared Brody explodes and gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. 17-yard run for the freshman halfback. And the Flyers get the 60-burger in the third quarter. Chaos driven in the chat. What's up, my brother? How are you? Hope you're doing good. On this fine Tuesday morning. Appreciate everybody showing up for the uh, destruction of Illinois State for our first stream of the day. They needed a game like this so uh, after after losing. Get him. A return by King up past the 20. Now let's see if the Flyers can, uh, you know, maybe not throw to Rob Orlandi on this drive. Fullback dive. Price on the tackle. He just woke up. Nice. Been awake for a couple hours. I think I got about five hours of sleep last night. Maybe. And there's the sack, coverage sack. That was D.B. Slocum, his second sack on the season. Blows by the right guard. It's actually a smart play by the quarterback. He had nobody open, and you, you don't you don't want to force another pass. You've already thrown a few interceptions in the game. You know you don't want to keep throwing it to the other team. Need a turnover, Ron? Why do we need a turnover? Come on now. 
They're already dead, man. And Wallace is going to get a couple yards as a flag for a holding, though. And we're going to decline that. And head on into the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, guys. Flyers on top, 63-6 to against the 6-2 Illinois State Redbirds. Having a rough day at home. Two punts in the game for Reyes. 42 and a half yard average. Illinois State can't handle the smoke. No, sir. Here's Gloves Malone. And they're setting up the return on the right side. This could be a decent one. And Gloves Malone escapes. And he is gone. His sixth touchdown return of the season. Goodness gracious. Not sure how he squeezed through there. The Flyers about to have that 70 burger. Now, where was this against Western Illinois is what I want to know. I know that they lost Dorian Wurra early in the game. You know, their star quarterback. But I don't see how that could have really affected the defense so, so poorly. Tackle at the 18 yard line. That was Foster. First down and 10. Tank Taylor in the zone at D tackle. It's a draw play. And Orlandi makes the stop at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. And they test the middle of the field. That's McDonald up past the 35. That's a first down. As the Redbirds have now run 52 plays on offense. And they're closing in on 300 yards. Loves Malone in the zone at corner. And this pass is picked off. It's Ballhawk, the free safety, and he's going to win this foot race. Touchdown, Flyers. The pick six. My goodness. He stole that from Orlando, but I'll let him have it because he returned it all the way. I believe that is the sophomore's first pick six of his career. And it is 77 to six, my goodness. A hundred, I don't think we're gonna score a hundred here in this game. You know, it's crazy. We've had a lot of insane games lately. Really close games. You know, we've lost some close ones. There's a fumble recovered by Alexander. Uh, yeah, but we've, we've had a lot of really good games. And then, you know, we get games like this. Where everything just goes in our favor. Two games before this, I believe Bryant and Hampton, and then VMI and what was it, Southeastern? Those games were ridiculous. Now, I figured this was going to be a good game too. Illinois State coming in six and two on the year. Dayton coming off a loss. They're seven and one on the season. Nationally broadcast game. Thought it was going to be a good one. Well, the Redbirds just could not hang around with the Flyers. And they're about to go three and out very quickly. The crowd not happy. Tank Taylor in the zone at D tackle. On third and ten. Pass left side deflected away. Very dangerous pass. That was Douglas with a deflection. Fourth down and ten. They're going to have to punt it away yet again. Reyes with a long of 70 on the season. Impressive. Yeah. 
And Ballhawk almost blocks it. My goodness. Blown up to the 31. Brody gets the carry. And he's going to lose a couple yards. Second down and 12 from the 30. Here comes 84. You just have so much faith in me. Nash Jackson is going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. See what we can do on third and 11. We are two for three on third downs in the ball game. No Johns, number three quarterback on the team, under center. And no Johns gonna take off. And Johns is gonna get the first down and then some all the way inside Redbird territory. Good run by the sophomore quarterback. Not really much of a runner, but he had so much space in front of him. Got to move James Skaggs in motion to the right side. Get some extra blocking here on the option. And that was really well defended by number 26. Middle linebacker in the zone. Watch out for him on this play. And a huge hit on the fullback. Oh my goodness. Almost got decapitated. All right, third down and seven. From the 44 yard line. Trent Green, the tight end, is in the zone. Not going to be able to get the ball out to him, but Johnson's going to take off again, and he's got the first down inside the 35-yard line. Oh, my goodness. What time is the next game? Right after this one, man. Takes me about five minutes or so to get the stream set up. Trent Green's still in the zone. See if we can go with uh, play action play. Throw it up top, Trent Green. And Green's going to come down with it inside the five-yard line. John's up to 91 yards passing, 33 on the ground, playing really well in garbage time. And the missed red zone opportunity was the missed field goal in the first half. Nash Jackson gets the carry and carries the defender into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point, up and good, it's 84 to six. Big hit with Joey Garrett. Come on, Joey. Oh, somebody else got him, though. My goodness. Flyers over 600 yards of offense in the game. Play action. 
Left side, caught by Wesley. And he'll pick up seven yards. Keep it on the ground. Hall is not going to go anywhere. Redbirds quickly in a third down situation. Third and three from the 25-yard line. Tank Taylor in the zone again on the defensive line. Goal line set for Illinois State. Fullback dive, and Smith will get the chains moving. Yes, Taunt, you're, you're down by 78 points, sir. Keon, player of the game for the Redbirds. Martin, player of the game for the Flyers. Over 300 yards passing, four touchdowns for the junior quarterback. Going to keep it on the ground. Again, a big hit from Rob Orlandi. Pass wide open as Wesley lays out for the first down reception. Good effort. And again, gets up taunting. All down by a million points. Play action. Deep shot. Jermaine Price is going to knock it out of the receiver's hands. will be sacked this time. Not sure who got him. Loss of four yards, though. And another sack. Shannon Ward brings him down. And that is going to do it, folks. Flyers. Rebound after their loss last week with an 84-6 drubbing of the 6-2, now 6-3, Illinois State Redbirds here in normal Illinois. Flyers will improve to 8-1 on the season. This is a big conference victory as they look to get back into the mix and win the Big Ten. Jay Washington, what did you walk into? Um, just an absolute massacre. We had the third string quarterback in there throwing dimes. It's a beautiful thing, really. Let's take a look at the stats. Players of the game, then we'll get out of here and get the next stream started up. Over 600 yards of offense for Dayton. Over 200 rushing. 398 passing yards. We were sacked four times, though. I believe all those were in the first half. 4-5 on third down. We had five interceptions. Just one penalty. For the Flyers, zero punts and two penalties for Illinois State. And just, we just kept scoring. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Even with, you know, all the backups, well, the backup quarterback in for the majority of the second half, he's still, still throwing dimes. Had a 61 yard punt return, 43 yard pick six for Ballhawk. Just domination. Wallace threw the ball 35 times and had four interceptions. He's a true freshman, though. Plenty of room for him to grow. The running back did well, though. 15 carries, 76 yards. So watch out for Jesse Sims next season for Illinois State. And the receiver, number 88, Andrew Cobbs. So they got a lot of a lot of young guys here. Four catches, 100 yards for Cobbs. And Elvin Wesley had that nice diving reception late in the game. And four catches, 27 yards for him. Jared Martin, pretty much perfect game for him. 10 of 12, 307 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Noah Johns, 4 of 6, 91 yards, and a touchdown. And Johns also had 33 yards rushing. Brody, three carries, 24 yards to score. Smash Jackson, 44 yards, two touchdowns, 76. Two carries, 
139 yards, two touchdowns. Ridiculous. Jared Martin sacked four times, lost 28 yards. 28 yards on sacks. EJ Rowe, non-subscriber receiver. Redshirt Sr. Led the team in catches with four. He had 66 yards. Ron Kemp, three for 95, two touchdowns. Manuel, three for 112, two touchdowns. Trent Green, two for 71, no touchdowns. Should have had one, but Ron Kemp just got in his way and, uh, you know, made him not get the end zone. Feels bad. James Skaggs with a 37-yard touchdown catch in the game. Kemp with two drops. Mike Bobo, 10 pancakes. He was hungry. Dewey Slocum, 10 tackles. Orlandi was six. He had three interceptions. John Fowler had a pick. Got injured. Missed the rest of the game. Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. Three sacks. And five interceptions. All by subscriber players. Bunch of pass deflections. Malone with four. Ballhawk had two. Tank Taylor, Cash Harris, Rob Orlandi, Jermaine Price... All had one each. DB Slocum as well. And the pick six for Ballhawk, of course. Carter missed a field goal. 12 of 12 extra points. 13 kickoffs, no touchbacks. No punts. Nothing crazy on kick return. But a 61 yard punt return for Gloves Malone. His sixth punt return touchdown on the season, folks. Players of the game Martin Orlandi and Sunny Six. McKeon, Cobbs, and Barrow for Illinois State. Our next game. Right after this one, guys, the Idaho State Bengals travel to Greeley, Colorado to take on the 5-3 and three Northern Colorado Bears. They're number 21 in the country. And that, that should be a fun game. Idaho State, they're 2-6, and six, but they're a scrappy young group. Should be a fun Pac-10 conference game, which obviously the Pac-10 is the most insane conference in all of college football. So who knows with that one. Bengals could destroy the Bears. So I, who knows. I don't know. But we shall see here in a few minutes. So just give me give me about 5 to 10 minutes to get that stream set up. And I'll see you guys back in the chat. Slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get your college football career started today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.